Ladies and gentlemen, from the Broad Street Ballroom, we are set to go with our next bout of the evening. It's scheduled for three rounds of Muay Thai for the vacant Friday Night Fight middleweight title. Your referee for this contest is Vinny Chapel. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he wears a red with gold trim. He represents the UFC gym from New York City. Ladies and gentlemen, Terrell Harewood. Harewood. And his opponent across the ring fighting in the blue corner. He wears it the green, black, and gold, the colors of Jamaica. He represents Anderson's martial arts. Also from New York City, Sean the Machete Ellis. Ellis. Hardware is on the line. One of the most highly anticipated matchups of the evening about to commence. Terrell Harewood goes up against Sean the Machete Ellis with the 155 pound Friday Night Fights title belt on the line. Harewood slips. Harewood wearing the red trunks with the gold trim. The Machete, Sean Ellis. Where's the green, black, and gold for his home country of Jamaica? Now we're coming out very, very aggressive. Nice dump to the canvas by Sean. Now this is a modified rules fight. No elbows allowed. 155 pounders here. Airwood goes for the spinning back kick and comes up with nothing but air. But Harewood does stick in a left leg as Machete tries to come in. These are two aggressive fighters that match up very well. Oh, Strong teeth. Teep. Nice spinning back kick. And these are two exceptional athletes. Both guys come in in tremendous shape. Very, very explosive. One thing Sean does, though, is that he, he turns his face away, um, and he's got to be careful with that because Harewood has very, very long arms, and he likes to use his boxing. Good right hand by the machete. Seen Harewood s several times on Friday Night Fights. He's won his last four decisions. La last one was against Taj Rueda right here at the Broad Street Ballroom back on October the 14th. Sean Ellis, meanwhile, has also had success here on Friday Night Fights. He beat Clifford Francois back in April. His record currently stands at 8-1. Harewood at 5-1 and, and a head kick from Ellis to cap off an exciting first round of action with the hardware on the line. 155-pound title hanging in the balance. Like you said, Phoenix, two excellent athletes here. Two guys that match up very well with each other and an ice bag being used in the corner on the Machete, who trains under Dan Anderson in Anderson's martial arts. An ice bag explodes. And now we have to clean up in the blue corner. You can expect very uh, flashy techniques out of Sean Ellis, really enjoys his kicking, really uses a very fast, flashy kicking style. Very exciting to watch. He's garnered the nickname the Machete because he says he likes to chop legs. So that's where he got that nickname. Terrell Harewood goes just with his regular name. No nickname required for the young man born in Brooklyn and raised in Staten Island. Little ice in uh, both corners. Simultaneous cleanups in the red and blue corners. Now we're ready for round two. Title fight, but only a three-rounder. These men will have to work quickly and furiously to capture the belt tonight. The 
Earl Harewood telling me yesterday at the weigh-in, this will be his last fight at 155. He's ready to move up, but he wanted to capture a championship before moving up to the next weight class. Harewood's corner is yelling at him to let his hands go, to abandon a lot of the flashier kicking stuff and stick with his bre bread and butter, which is, have, you know, we've seen him have very good boxing on a lot of the fights here before. Yeah, I think he was trying to, trying to meet Sean where he lives with flashier kicks. Right, Phoenix Harewood normally a very smooth puncher, but we have seen him try to go tit for tat a bit with the machete. Right. He best to nullify that really by working on what he's best at, which is mixing up those combinations, kicks and punches. Dan Anderson calling for Sean Ellis to start moving forward and be more aggressive and start landing some shots. Body kick by Ellis. Here we tried the spinning back fist, but kind of lost his balance on the way in. Well, it's really hard too for, for see what Ellis has to. He, he leans his head back, and that's why he's going to get caught with a couple of those shots because he leans his head back without his hands being up. And Harewood has very long arms, seemingly long arms for his body. Almost a nonchalant spinning back kick there by Ellis, but it did land. Didn't slow down Harewood much, but it probably scored. He's got to keep his hands up, not just lean his head away. Nice. And I think he hurt. He hurt Harewood there with that punch. You saw Harewood stagger back a little bit towards the end of that round. Harewood breathing deeply. Looks a little frustrated, heading back to his corner after round number two comes to a close. This is a championship fight. 155 pounds. Friday night fights. Belt is on the line. Sean the Machete Ellis representing Anderson's Martial Art Academy in Lower Manhattan. Tries to build on an 8-1 record and capture another belt here on Friday Night Fights. We saw him do this very thing back on April the 29th against Clifford Francois. Terrell Harewood, meanwhile, is going to build on his excellent amateur reputation and leave the 155-pound division in style as a champion. Uncharacteristic, a three-round title fight here. Yeah. We'll see which of these fighters is able to turn on the Jets and come away with the hardware. Airwood in the red with the gold trim. Ellis with the Jamaican flag trunks. Harris, Ellis, uh, did a good job there. He saw Harewood coming in, trying to extend his reach, but Sean immediately grabbed and went for the clinch. Harewood's corn is just begging him to let his hands go, let his hands go. Harewood, a very measured fighter, very methodical. May have to put his foot on the gas here. He wants to impress the judges and come away with this championship. Yeah, see, Ellis isn't really easy to hit because he move, keeps moving his, his feet. He keeps trying to range his distance, moves his feet in and out. He'll throw a kick and then he'll, he'll evade you. Halfway through the third and final round. 155-pound title belt hanging in the balance. Will it go up to the judges, or will one of these men stop the other and make it easy? Straight left hand by Harewood. That's a good nice combination. right hand that lands by Harewood. So Ellis moves his head away, but Harewood's uh, arms are very, very long. He's got to keep his hands up. Even if he's going to evade those shots, yes, you can slip and roll, but still keep those hands very close to your face. As you said, Phoenix, with a bit of a boxing match breaking out here down the stretch, Harewood is seizing the moment. And right hand over the top, final 10 seconds of this fight. Harewood scoring with the right hand. Another right hand that lands there. Ellis caught Harewood as well with the right, right and hand. that's it. Terrell Harewood finishes strong in round number three.
Yeah, you could have given that round, maybe the first two round given to Sean and the last round given to Harewood. I, I would understand that. So let's see what the judges decided. Really what you would have expected in this fight, Phoenix, a close fought fight, very evenly matched fighters. Well, that was the thing, you know, if, if Harewood abandoned his boxing the first two rounds to try to fight at Sean's game, but, you know, it, when he did what he was best at, which is keeping his hands up and really extending that long reach of his, he was able to connect. Harewood using the glove work in round three to his advantage, looked very strong, finished strong, and actually screamed in frustration at the end of the fight, maybe just not knowing if he did enough to win. Yeah, that, I think that was what that was. See if Machete's leg work in the first two rounds was enough to score him the hard way. Harewood and Ellis go to the judges' scorecards. Let's go to David Diamante. Shetty comes out on top. A very close fought three round decision victory over Terrell Harewood. Here's Phoenix Carnavalli with the new middleweight champ of Friday Night Fights. Shetty Ellis exhausted but victorious. He scores the 155 pound title belt, the middleweight champion of Friday Night Fights.